first of all, we have to take a step back and look at what is, what is cheating and how much, how much should we tolerate cheating uh, you know, in our democratic process. If, if, uh, if an athlete in the Olympics is caught doping and using you know, illicit drugs, we don't ask the question, well, how much did that drug influence their result? Maybe they would have come in first, maybe they would come in second. If you cheat, you don't get your medal. And, and, and in, in something as important as our democracy, we shouldn't stand for cheating. Vote Leave it entirely denied this. But, but the point is yeah. that the people that voted Leave didn't vote Leave necessarily because of something that was spent. They voted Leave because they believed that the UK wants, that they wanted the UK to leave the European Union. So why do we have spending limits in the first place then? If you extend that logic, we should allow money, add, add, an unlimited amount of money in, 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 in our campaigns. You know, campaigns matter. Campaigns influence elections. That's why we have them. So, so what I'm saying is if, if Vote Leave used a scheme to overspend in the most critical week, in the last week, by 625,000 um, pounds, you know, the, given how close the actual result is, uh, I think it's, it's, it's fair and reasonable to, to question, did that have an effect on the result? You know, the, the 40%, you think 40%, that, you think that, 40 that difference was made spending. to 600,000 people's intention to vote? That, that money, 625,000 pounds, buys quite a bit of advertising online. And if you're targeting it at the right amount of people, yes, that absolutely can influence the result. I've, I've worked in targeting for, for years. You can influence results with targeting and with messaging. It can be as simple as, it can be as, simple as reminding enough people to go, and, to go and vote that you influence turnout. But I, I think to, to get back to the actual issue here that, that I'm here to talk about, which is what AIQ was doing in the referendum, and, and that you know this this large amount of money was spent on targeting, mm -hmm. and that you know th that what I'm saying is, this company received 40% of vote leave spending. Dominic Cummings said that, that they could not have won without AIQ. And what we're revealing, you know, what we've been revealing over the weekend and, and over this past week, with three binders full of evidence mm -hmm. to suggest that the money that was spent on AIQ was likely unlawful. And, and if that money was spent unlawfully on which targeting, they deny. Yep. Wh which they can deny all they want, but there's three binders full of evidence that's been sent to the so Electoral Commission. you're saying that that targeting worked. That's essentially what you're saying. That last minute targeting worked. That's what I'm trying to get at. We've, what evidence so, do you have that it worked? So, so what I am saying is something much more fundamental here, okay, which is that in order for us to have faith in our democratic institutions, we need to be confident that the law is followed. We need to be confident mm. that there isn't cheating. If we do not have that confidence, we cannot have, con we, we cannot have confidence in a democratic system and our system fails at that point because the law is not being followed, right? So what I'm saying is I want to enforce the law. I want to reveal the cheating that I think happened mm. in the referendum. And the question for people and the question for parliament is for a choice that we can only make once, okay, for a choice that is irreversible, right? We cannot undo Brexit, okay? And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that the, the, that the British people did or did not support Brexit. But what I'm saying is we need to be confident of that choice. I supported leave. I'm a Eurosceptic. I'm saying this as a Eurosceptic. Why am I Eurosceptic? Because I believe in British sovereignty and British law. And I want British law followed. Chris, that is what I'm saying. Chris Wiley, thank you very much indeed.